Hey everybody, Hillside Gardener coming back with you. Uh, it is February 9th, 2020, and I just wanted to show you guys an update of my uh, hellebore flower here. This is the frost, uh, pink frost, Linton Rose. So it's a hellebore pink frost, and uh, you wouldn't believe it, but two days ago it was snowing, and this was completely co covered in snow, 100%. But yeah, this uh, this flower actually is very hardy. It's the deer have never messed with it. Um, never eaten so much as a nibble off of a leaf. So I don't know what the reasoning is. Maybe they're bitter, but the leaves are, yeah, and they're pretty tough. And maybe and probably just don't you know not appealing to the deer. So I would recommend this if you have deer troubles in your garden in your neighborhood, or whatever. Uh, it's very much a uh, tried and true deer proof uh, plant. But it's getting a little bit closer here. Check out that collar on that. So I ended up getting this a couple years ago on clearance. It was just like basically a dead little stick. And I thought it was, you know, they're just giving it away. So I just put it down here in the ground. And it's a, it gets not morning sun and not evening sun. Just a little bit of a filtered sunlight through the middle of the day. And which is perfect because these guys don't like full hot sun. In my experience, this is a, you know, the, the medium kind of filtered uh, sunlight is uh, absolutely what's going to be critical for these guys to do good. And as you see, it was just a little, one little, it was about maybe two two little stems sticking out of a little pot that was just, you know, being basically given away for clearance for like a dollar or two dollars maybe. And it's uh, rebounded. This is about three or four years. Uh, it's doing great. So I'll show you something really exciting. That's right there. Yeah, it's a brand new plant. So it has new shoots coming up right there. And it's like I said, it was covered in snow and it just absolutely just survives. This is a really hardy plant. It's a tough plant. The deer don't like it. The flowers are beautiful on it. I really like these flowers a lot. It gives you something to look forward to in that, you know, early, uh, well, late, late winter, early, early spring time frame, depending where you live. But yeah, these things will bloom right through the snow. So there you guys go. Just a really quick uh, little thing here on the, um, on the hellebore. But uh, one thing I need to... Uh, just look into is like I said, this is the new guy right here. I wonder if this is started by seed or I don't believe these guys put out runners because this is like I said, it's been here for like four or five years. So if it was able to propagate through runners, you know, there would be more, I think in different directions and it would see kind of be spreading a little bit. So if this did, uh, you know, get pollinated and produce a flower and excuse me, produce a seed from the flower and then maybe a squirrel or just the wind kind of put this down here but i'm definitely gonna make a point this year to uh, come back and follow this really closely to see if seeds are actually being formed but that being said i mean look at us up close inside this flower here and there is pollen and you know you can see the anthers and the stamen and all that kind of stuff in there and the pistil very clearly so um if these are being pollinated i'm not sure by what so obviously there's no bees out right now. So unless it's just wind pollinated and self fertile, I don't know. But I mean, if you look in this one here, um, is that the beginning of seeds? I know it kind of swollen up a little bit. It very well could possibly be. So I'm definitely going to be more attentive this year. And if they do form seeds, I'm going to try to propagate them to spread this out because, like I said, I like this flower a lot. It's really cool. I kind of like the little this whole little section right here along the side of the house. I you know perfectly. That'd be a perfect spot here just to kind of extend it down a little bit, have a couple, you know, three or four of these, make a little uh, row uh, decoration of it. So there you guys go. Uh, hellebore. This is the Pink Frost Linton Rose. Um, yeah, so thanks you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, follow along for more content here on the hillside, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.